friends, today we will be doing uh, sample questions for SMC competition, that is Singapore Maths competition. These are some five or six sample questions. Uh, so let's start. This is for grade one and two. Let's start for, with question number one. In the figure below, one part of it is already shaded. How many more parts of the figure must be shaded so that three eighths of it is shaded? Now, if you see how many, this is one rectangle, which is divided into how many parts? It's divided into eight parts. And they say, they're saying that three eight of it should be shaded. So three eight means three parts should be shaded. And out of which one part is already shaded. So how many parts more to be shaded? Two parts to be shaded. So my answer is two for question number one. Now let's read question number two. Look at the pattern. What is the missing number? Now, if you look at the pattern, if you see 8, 2, 10. So, if you see this is 8 plus 2 is 10. If we see the second one, 10 plus 31 is 41. So, what will be the third one? 41 plus 10 will be 51. So, what will be there in the question mark? It will be number 10. Now, let's look at question number 3. Find the mass of one ball. Now, if you see, this is an equal balance, okay? Whatever is the weight here is the weight here. Now, if we see here, 5 plus 5 plus 5. So, the weight here is 15 kgs. And so, let's just do this here, question number 3. So, you have 3 balls plus 3 kg, which is equal to 15 kg. So, what does that mean? That 1 plus, so these 3 balls are equal to 12 kgs. 12 kgs means 15 minus 3. So, 3 into what will give me 12 kgs? So, 3 into 4. So, each ball is weighing 4 kg. So, my answer is 4. Question number 4. Ali bought some sweets. If he packs them equally into 4 jars, he will have 3 sweets left. If he packs them equally into five jars, he'll have one sweet left. What is the least possible number of sweets Ali should buy? Now, if we see that, if, if we read it, it says that if he packs them equally into five jars, he will have one sweet left. For example, if we look at multiples of five, say, let's start with five, ten, and one is left. So we do plus one. So six and say plus one, eleven. Let's just try for this. So if you divide 6 by 5, you'll have 1 left. And if you divide 6 by 4, you'll have 2 left. So this is not meeting the criteria. So this is not my answer. Now we try this with 11. So 5 twos are 10. So I have 1 left as the remainder. And if you do this with 4, 4 twos are 8. So I have 3 left. That is what the question is saying. If you pack them equally into 4 jars, you'll have 3 sweets left. So three sweets left. And if he packs them into five, then he'll have one sweet left, which is this. So what is the minimum or the least possible number of sweets he should have bought? It should be 11. Now let's question number five. Anthony and Alvin had the same amount of money. Alvin spent all his money on a storybook, while Anthony bought a t-shirt for $12 and had $3 left. So how much do two boys have all together? So two boys have all together. So now Alvin had how much money? He had 12 plus 3, which is $15. And so how much did Anthony have? Anthony also had the same amount of money. So Anthony also had $15. So together they had $30. My answer is 30. Now let's read question number six. Study the pattern below and uh, study the pattern below. How many circles will be there in pattern 5? So if we see this in pattern 1, how many circles do we have? 4. In pattern 2, how many circles do we have? 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. I have 6. How many do we have in pattern 3? We have 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. So how many will we have in pattern 4? If you see this, It is going, let's just keep counting of 2. So, five, 8 plus 2 is 10 and 10 plus 2 is 12. So, 
it will have 12 circles in pattern number 5. These were the sample questions for the SMC competition. I hope you like my video. Thank you.